Well hello and welcome to my latest video. Uh, back in the garage uh, I'm wearing a cap today. You might wonder uh, why is Julian wearing a cap? Well I thought uh, I've been making quite a few videos lately and so people might be confused about uh, the subject matter of the various videos. So what I thought I'd try and do is uh, I'll wear a cap when I'm doing an unboxing or an unpackaging. Okay so I'm wearing the cap uh, not necessarily always going to wear this cap. Uh, I might ring the changes just to confuse you a little. Uh, but when I'm wearing a cap, I'm going to do an unboxing or an unpackaging. So I'm going to do an unpackaging today. And you're saying to yourself, what is in Julian's package this morning? And it's uh, it's plastic, grey plastic, as you can see. Probably single-use plastic, this one. And uh, let's... But the thing about single-use plastic, of course, is you can't reuse it. That's why it's called single-use. So we can chuck it away and with any luck, right, it'll land in the sea and then those companies who want to make their cycle jerseys out of recycled plastic, uh, which they get from the sea, uh, will be able to use that particular piece of uh, single-use plastic. So uh, a couple of years, maybe down the line, maybe 500, maybe a thousand years uh, down the line, assuming people are still cycling and they're buying cycle jerseys, that piece of plastic that I've just chucked behind me and will shortly throw into the sea when I get down to the seaside uh, could actually become uh, the jersey that a future cyclist wears. And isn't that, isn't that a strange feeling? I'm almost inclined to sign that piece of plastic and then imagine, because I think, this, I think the plastic breaks up in the sea, but just imagine if uh, one of these companies uh, gathered that plastic together and they used those little bits of plastic to make, I don't know, 10, 10 jerseys. And then, <coughs> sorry, a bit of a cough there. No, no, not, not that sort of cough, just a little clearing of the throat cough. Um, so they could make, let's say, 10 jerseys and a little bit of my signature uh, 500 years in the future appears in on each one of those uh, jerseys. It's kind of immortality, isn't it? Uh, I always remember that great line of, of Woody Allen. Um, I, I don't want to achieve immortality through my art. I want to achieve immortality through not dying. And uh, I'll never forget that. Anyway, what am, I, what am I doing today? Let's get on with it, Julian. Stop hanging about. There are two items in this particular package. And let's open... Good heavens, more, more single-use plastic. I'm not sure I'm entirely in favour of this, guys. Uh, by the way, uh, single-use plastic, you must not put this over your head. Kids, do not put plastic bags over your head, whether they are reusable or, or not. Uh, so don't put a plastic bag over your head and then give it to somebody else who can reuse it because it is single-use plastic, so it mustn't be used for that, kids. Very dangerous to put plastic bags over your head. Uh, so kids, grandparents, maiden aunts, people like that, keep the plastic bags away from them. Now, this particular item is a... Uh, you see that? It's, no, it's not, a, it's not a sleeve for a person with incredibly fat arms, you see, like that. Nor is it a single leg warmer for a person with pretty pretty fat legs, not fat legs of course, muscly legs, uh, that could be Chris Hoy, that could be Chris Hoy's uh, thigh thigh warmer. No, it's not that, it's, uh, it's a buff. So I'm going to take the cap off, uh, I'm going to put the cap on because remember I'm doing an unpackaging, unboxing, unpackaging, and uh, uh, so I'm going to take the glasses off. Now when I take my glasses off, by the way, I can't see, so I'm just going to assume that I'm looking in the right direction of the lens, uh, pulling it over my head, so don't go, don't go away, yeah, a little bit tight, a little bit tight, a little bit, little bit tight indeed, there, and that's, that's a buff, uh, that's, that's a nice buff, also works as a, a face covering during these particular times, plus if you were to go into, I don't know, a monastery or a convent or somewhere like that, uh, or you wanted to rob a bank or a post office, other shops were available, then you could you could completely cover your face with it and you would be unrecognisable. A little bit tight around the neck. I wouldn't say I have a fat neck, muscly neck. Yes, I have a muscly neck, a bit like Chris Hoy's muscly neck. So that's like that. So that's a that's a buff and that's designed to, to keep your neck warm. Um, so I can take this off now. Uh, so I'm going to disappear for a few moments just behind this. It's coming off. There, it's come off my head, and now I'm going to put my glasses back on, 
and uh, I need to put the cap back on otherwise you're going to get confused you'll think it's not one of these unboxing unpacking videos because I said I'd be wearing a cap when I didn't unbox it not unpacking there anyway, I've put the cap back on and I'm going to open this other package which is also I'm going to get on this in, in a moment to tell you what make of this is and uh, more more single-use plastic uh, if you've got aunts uncles cousins people like that they must not uh, children grandparents they must not put this over their head very dangerous as i said before and it's a a cycling jersey oh it's a rather nice cycling jersey look at oh isn't that rather an attractive color that's what i call uh, i call dark gray uh, you might call it anthracite uh, you might call it uh, closed down steelworks i could call it you know that great, great Bruce Springsteen song, Youngstown, about the steelworks in Pennsylvania? I could call that Youngstown Grey. How is that? It, it, steel is a sort of grey, isn't it? And it's got, um, I think these are reflective stripes. This is a black stripe here. This is a, a lighter, a lighter grey here. You could call this, you could call this titanium grey, I suppose. And this is a, a sort of orange, burnt orange, burnt sienna. Uh, which was the colour when Sienna burnt down back in the 15th century. Uh, that orange, or umber, was it umber? I think it was umber, in fact. And uh, it's got uh, three three pockets on the back, uh, including two... Th look, there are two zips there, so I would say that's five pockets, wouldn't you? Three plus two is five, kids. Uh, basic maths. And uh, I think it's rather nice. And it's I'm, I'm we'll get on to the, the make of it don't worry we'll get on to the make of it just unzipping it here just so i can have a look at the label yeah there's a there's a label there wash darks together yes always that's good advice and it's 61 percent polyester 39 percent merino wool and this fabric they call sport wool sport wool okay which is a combination of merino wool and polyester and i think that's rather rather attractive so Who's it by? Well, it's by a company called, uh, just looking at the label here, I know what it's called, but I wanted to show you the label. Can you see that? The, the company is called Torm or Term, T-O-R-M. Uh, vaguely Scandinavian, vaguely, vaguely Icelandic, vaguely uh, Spitsbergen even. Don't even not, not sure if Spitsbergen has its own language, but possibly. Uh, vaguely Scandinavian uh, feel to that word, Term, Torm. Not sure how you'd say it. You could say it both ways. Uh, other ways are available. Um... Are there? No, it would either be Tom or Term. Uh, Tum. Tum. Uh, that's sort of vaguely Swedish, isn't it? Tum. Well, it's a, it's a British company, English company perhaps. Uh, they're based in Broadstairs. A uh, lovely place. Spent many, many, many happy holidays in Broadstairs with my family. And uh, it's a couple of guys, only two people in the company. And they also run a bike shop, which I think is called SP Cycles, which is in Broadstairs. And they only do a couple of items. They do this. Uh, they do this buff. Uh, they do jerseys. They do sort of arm warmers, uh, possibly leg warmers. But that's about it. They don't do shorts. They don't do. They don't do gilets. They don't do uh, uh, bike packing bags. They don't. Uh, they don't make bicycles. Uh, they don't. Uh, they don't make shoes. Uh, I'm thinking of other items that companies make. For example, Rafa. Uh, Rafa make uh, what, what, what else do they make? They make um, uh, long trousers, uh, jeans, uh, commuter backpacks. Anyway, you can think of other products that Tom Term Tum don't make. And they say on their website that uh, they want to, or they they want to keep small. They want to keep niche. They want to make uh, a few products and they want to make them well. And so they like to control the production process. They like to, uh, they, they have their own ideas. They're fairly understated uh, colour-wise, although I do like this, this colourway. I must, I must say, I think it's very attractive. Um, they had a couple of other colours, but they were sold out. Um, so they're obviously pretty popular. I first came across Torm or Term or Tum. Uh, my friend Henry Wildberry, I don't know if you've ever watched his videos. He's incredible. He's really laid back. Uh, American dude mostly lives in California and he uh, made a video about a, a I don't know that's not really an American accent is it and that doesn't actually sound anything like Henry Wildberry so check out Henry Wildberry's videos on YouTube I do like his movies and he seems like a nice guy uh, but he happened to have purchased not quite sure why in California term has reached as far as there but it had that he'd purchased one of these um, uh, videos uh, videos not videos one of these jerseys which is where I first came across them and uh, then I saw another 
uh, video by a, another YouTuber that I follow by the name of Always Another Adventure. Don't think that's his real name, but that's the name that he uses for his videos. And he had worn one of these jerseys, and I thought I'd, I thought I'd check them out. And then I'd do a, an unpackages, unpackaging and unboxing, which is why I'm wearing the cap, uh, just for you guys because you like to see that kind of thing. So that's the jersey. It's very nice, soft, soft fabric. Um, new. New thing they've introduced on, on YouTube, if you just touch the screen just there, just there, no, not there, not there, it doesn't work. Uh, touch the screen just there, uh, you can actually get uh, what they call YouTube Feel. And YouTube Feel, you have to pay extra for it, not very much, and you get to uh, just feel the kind of softness and the plushness and the pleasantness of the fabric. And you can imagine next to my skin, yes, you're not next to my skin, but you can imagine that you are the fabric and you're next to my skin. So I'm going to try this on. I tried on the uh, uh, the buff, you saw that. So I'm going to try on the jersey and then you'll be able to see what it's like uh, when I'm wearing it. So don't go away, don't go away. Well, there you are. Uh, I've put the jersey on. I'm just wearing a just wearing a base layer underneath, a fairly thin base layer. I've put the cap back on because as you know, I'm doing an unboxing and unpackaging. And uh, that's very nice, I must say, very nice indeed. What do you, what do you think? The old belly there is sticking out a little bit. I've, uh, I've been thrashing the ice cream, thrashing the ice cream. Yes, things have been rather tough, so I've had to thrash the ice cream, make me feel a bit better. And I'm just going to turn around, do a little spin, right? Can you see me? I can't see the screen now because the screen is kind of off to my off to my right hand side there. Uh, but you can see the, the kind of silhouette there. I'll hold my stomach in so it doesn't look too embarrassing. And now I'll turn around. I'm facing the back wall now, so you should be able to see the back of me. I can't see the back of me, so I don't know what you can see. But these are the these are the uh, pockets here. Three pockets. Yes, remember in my exercise video we we practiced this movement, didn't we? Reaching into our pocket to the back. And that is uh, the, the zip pocket, that's quite nice. Not sure if I'm putting my hand in the zip pocket. Yes, I think I am. And uh, I'll move around. Uh, I'll try, just try and change, change that zip, close that zip. Uh, move around. Now you can see my left side, the left sort of silhouette there. Can you see the left silhouette? Uh, again, holding my stomach in as much as possible. I may, be, may stop breathing shortly. Uh, one of my stripes on the arm there, a bit of a reflective material. And now I'm turning around to the front again where I was before. So I've done a sort of 360 degree turn. That's where you turn 360 degrees. You do a full turn. And I've showed you the, uh, the full jersey. So I think that's rather nice. Sport wall fabric, mixture of uh, polyester and merino uh, merino wool. Uh, the merino is uh, uh, an animal, I think. Uh, not sure if it's an endangered species. Um, hope not, because I wouldn't like to think that I was wearing some kind of single-use endangered species uh, jersey. Uh, I certainly wouldn't like to think. This, I think, here, people, people, call, this a, people call this a zip gar gar a zip garage or as you in America you would call a zip garage. So this is a zip garage and I think that's designed to protect protect the zip in case the zip gets cold because zips are very susceptible uh, to the cold. So the, the zip garage is a, a useful addition there. I could put this I could put this buff on. I won't put it on around my neck. I'll put it on over my head. There we are. Because you can use it actually that would work quite nicely as a kind of um, uh, what do you call it? A head covering? Uh, a scarf? Uh, a hat, it's not, not hat really, is it? It's uh, anyway, I could pull it down, pull it down right over my face like that. Uh, there, but unfortunately, I can't see anything, so I'll put that back up. And that's one that keeps you nice and warm. So, I think this is a nice jersey going out to a ride uh, tomorrow. So, I may wear this jersey and uh, probably wear something over it because uh, perhaps a gilet or something like that. But this is uh, uh, a, probably a spring, uh, uh, uh autumn. Not full winter, or not for me anyway, because I do feel the cold. Um, but with something over it, perhaps a, a, a jacket, uh, which uh, a torn term tomb uh, don't really make. So I can highly recommend this jersey. I haven't tried it out in the field yet, but I'll try and do that tomorrow. Uh, torn. Obviously, if you'll rush out and buy one, then that will be a problem for them. Uh, they'll become a big company, and then they'll have to start uh, spending money on sponsoring clothes for, for Ineos or Sky, as they used to be called. And then uh, who knows what would happen? They might sell out to Walmart. So it's a difficult thing for a company. Do you stay small? Do you, do you become big? Uh, do you become big and then become small, as some companies have done in this particular time? But that's for a different reason. So we won't go into that. So that's the jersey. Sorry if this uh, unpackaging, this unboxing has gone on for quite a long time. I'll take the cap off now. That's why you know that the video is about to end. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.